guys, welcome back to Tax Q&A. Today, I'll be answering some of the most common questions around advanced tax. Let's get started. Simple tax that you pay in advance. But why in advance? Okay, to start off, just think of how you pay most of your bills electricity every two months, rent and credit cards monthly, and so on. If you had to pay all these at once, it would be a big amount and pretty overwhelming. The same goes for taxes. This is why we have the concept of advanced tax, where you break down your tax payment into smaller manageable chunks throughout the year and pay as you earn your income. So, if your estimated tax liability for a financial year exceeds Rs 10,000, you'll have to pay advanced tax. This not only makes it easier for you, but also serves as a steady revenue stream for the government, who has expenses to cover around the year. See, advanced tax is not some extra tax that you pay. It's just another way by which the government collects income tax. So, for your salary, you're already paying these taxes in the form of monthly TDS that is deducted by your employer and hence you don't have to pay advance tax. However, if you have other sources of income apart from salary, like rental income, capital gains, etc., and the tax liability on this exceeds Rs 10,000, you will be liable to pay advance tax. No, as I already mentioned, both TDS and advance tax are different ways in which you pay your tax liability. However, they do serve the same purpose, which is ensuring timely payment of taxes. Now, TDS is deducted by the payer before you even receive your income, like your salary. On the other hand, with advanced tax, you are responsible for estimating your own tax liability and paying it. So, you have to make the tax payment over four installments. One for each quarter and the due date is 15th of the last month of that quarter. Hence, for quarter 1, which runs from April to June, the due date is 15th June, where you have to pay at least 15% of the total tax liability. For quarter 2, it is 15th September, when 45% of the tax liability needs to be paid. Up to 75% in quarter 3 and then 100% of your tax liability in quarter 4. Okay, there are some criteria to determine who is liable to pay advance tax. Number one, your tax liability for the year is more than 10,000. While calculating this, do consider any TDS that you've already paid. Number two, senior citizens don't have to pay advance tax if they don't have any business or professional income. And number three, those opting for the presumptive taxation scheme can pay the entire tax liability in a single installment before 15 March of the relevant financial year. Well, what happens when you don't pay your credit card bills? Interest starts piling up, making the amount due even bigger. Same happens with your tax bill. If you don't pay your quarterly installments or if the amount you pay falls short of what you are liable to pay for that quarter, a 1% simple interest per month will be applicable on the overdue amount until the time you pay it. To start with, you'll have to estimate your total earnings for the year. Now, for people who do business, freelancing or say stock market trading, it is difficult to accurately estimate their income for the entire year. But you still have to account for it while calculating your advanced tax installments. Second, once you add all the incomes, subtract the amount of deductions you will be eligible for. For example, if you invest in ELSS funds and will be claiming the ATC deduction, reduce that amount from your taxable income. Similarly, if you have any brought forward losses from past years, consider those as well. Third, compute the tax liability as per the slab rates for the regime you will be opting for. In case of capital gains, calculate the taxes as per the applicable special rates. Lastly, reduce any TDS that you've already paid from the total tax liability and pay the remaining tax liability as per the advanced tax installments. 
Now, because you are estimating your income, it might also happen that you end up paying more taxes. Don't worry. In that case, you will be able to claim a refund of the same when you file your ITR. It is fairly simple. Just log into the ITD's e-filing portal. Go to e-file and then e-pay tax. Once you click on new payment, you'll see various options from which you'll have to choose income tax and proceed. Now you need to select the assessment year and this is where you need to be very careful. The assessment year will always be the year after the financial year. Which means if you're paying advance tax for FY 2024 to 2025, the AY would be 2025 to 2026. The type of payment will be advance tax with code 100. On the next screen, just enter the amount of tax and make the payment. You're done. This advance tax will also then reflect in your Form 26AS along with all other taxes paid by you. And I guess we've covered it all. If Google search is too much work for you and Quora is full of opinions, then you should check out Tax QA, where you can toss questions and our tax experts give quality answers. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe so you do not miss out on what's coming next. Catch you in the next one. बात पचताई गयो यो यो हनी यो यो हनी I last sang this in school ठीक है खेलो सही है नहीं हर चीज सही है सही है मूर्ति में सीट बैठी है तो come and sit in my seat you will know how many responsibilities I have it's very tough I am multi talented of course मुझे आता है dance करना घूमना आता है शाचेट immediately